Have you ever had this happen to you? Somebody finds out you're a chess player and they say, ah, you'd probably beat me in only two moves. But you know the truth. We don't really try to win chess games in two moves. Do we? Well, let's just find out. Before we get into the fun, hit that subscribe button and then you'll be ready for the funsies. Okay, so in chess, we have something called the fool's mate, but it never actually happens, does it? The fool's mate is when someone moves their F pawn and opens up their king. Do they not watch any videos I've ever done? And then if black just plays a simple move like E5 to activate the queen, then if white plays G4, what hmm. is white doing? Queen H4 is already checkmate, so technically, a two move mate is possible because black only used two moves to checkmate white. However, you can't really expect your opponent to push the F pawn and the G pawn, and I kind of agree with you. However, this information could actually be useful because there was once a chess master, I'm not naming any names, and no, it wasn't me, who lost a chess game in only four moves with a close variation to the fool's mate. Let's go back to our beginning position and let's see how that happened. Now, white played d4. Totally normal, totally fine. I mean, I'm a big fan of e4, but I can't really blame d4 for this loss. So, black played the move knight f6. Now, white played a bit of a strange move. Instead of bringing the knight to the happy square, white brought the knight to d2. Again, not a losing move by itself, but it does cut off the bishop and the queen and the king. And those are all going to be pretty important in just a minute. Now, black played this really interesting pawn sacrifice. Pawn to e5. And white said, yum, yum, yum. Take that. So black played knight g4. So if you're counting at home, we're already on move three for black. How could white have possibly lost the game in one more move? Well, we're going to find out. First of all, what should have white done? Maybe just, you know, bring the other knight to the happy square and, you know, defend your extra pawn. But what did white do? White played the no parking sign, which is not a bad idea if you're making the knight go backward. And white surely thought this knight would go back and collect the pawn and the game would continue. However, that's not what Black did. Maybe you're thinking Black will sacrifice to bring the king out. But actually, if you take, the king takes, and yeah, you get a check or two with your queen or with your bishop, but you are down a knight. I don't think you have quite enough compensation for the knight. So instead, the winning move for Black, can I get a drum roll? Can I make the drum roll louder, even louder? Knight to e3, game over, GG, set him up, play again. Uh, White resigned here because the queen is totally trapped thanks to Mr. Awkward Knight. If that knight was anywhere else, the bishop could just collect the black knight or white's queen could run, you know, down the D file or something. But the queen is obviously stuck and the only move that could possibly save her, the only way to not be down a queen is a take. Oh, but we tricked white into opening up this diagonal. Then queen h4 would be mate in one move. And to add insult to injury, if white's pawn was just back on h2, none of this would work. Because when white plays g3, there'd be a pawn here to defend. But there is no pawn on h2. It's on h3, as you can very easily see. And black would just take oh. the pawn and it would be checkmate. So white had the choice of either giving away a queen or getting mated, and white chose option three, which was resign. Uh, so there you go. Even the fool's mate can actually happen in a game between two chess masters in a slightly different variety. I hope you learned a lot, and uh, yeah, guard that diagonal to your king. You don't want to lose a game like this.